Hello, this is a brief video of an upright Steinway piano, uh, 1888, and has 88 keys. Uh, normally, this age of Steinway has 85 keys, and so we don't restore those, but uh, this one has um, 88 keys, so it's been fully restored, and you can see that um, all the ivories are perfect. It's been polyestered, and uh, it has a beautiful inlay on the front as well. And the piano's in perfect condition. Um, the rest plank's been changed, just looking at the internals now. Um, you can tell that because of the back of the piano, you can see where the tops uh, come off and been uh, back, put back on, and here it's been made good at the back. The other way of knowing that the rest plank's been changed, the tuning pins are, are small. When it's restrung, uh, if the rest plank's not been changed, then it would have bigger tuning pins, but these are small, extremely tight as well. So that's going to be ideal for central heating and uh, has extremely good ba German bass strings put on too. You can tell good bass strings because the string line is always exactly in line. That's a, uh, the sign of a good string maker and also the tone of course is excellent. There's the date down there of the frame casting. That's uh, 1888 as you can see. And here we have the inside of the piano. The soundboard is absolutely perfect. It's, it's been shimmed I, I believe here and uh, is in perfect condition and certainly hasn't lost its crown in any way. The strings are, are excellent. The bridge has been recapped, as you can see there. There's a soundboard from above this top end of the piano here and uh, as you can see that's in perfect condition. The bridge you can see here as well has been recapped. There's the back of the action that's all been refelted and repinned. Uh, really every single thing that, that needs to be done has been done to the piano. Now, there's brand new German Steinway hammers here and uh, perfect condition. You can see there's not, not been any uh, wear on the piano so far. It needs perhaps a little, a little bit of playing in to, to get the optimum type. And here's the front of the action. Everything's been replaced. Uh, these are nice leather tapes as opposed to plastic ones, which you find on a lot of um, reconditioned pianos. But these are, are leather um, tapes. The regulation on the piano is really perfect too, with the hammer travelling as far as possible towards the string before setting off allowing really soft playing and also the damping is perfectly regulated the damp is all pulling off together and, and when the hammers are halfway to the string and this is this is the regulation on the half blow pedal uh, pushing the hammers halfway towards the string uh, which helps you to play softly it's not the same as a grand where you have on a quarter pedal which is better but um, it does help with soft playing so now for the tone and the touch of the piano. The touch is very smooth, very even, and just correct for, for a practicing on because it's just exactly the weight that you get on a modern piano. Now, the, I'm going to play the tone, the treble, which is the most important, the tenor, and then the bass. Nice mellow sound right throughout the piano. And a very rich bass. Thank you very much for listening.